Hello everyone, my name is Ivor Cummins and I'm a biochemical engineer and specialist in complex engineering problem solving from Dublin, Ireland. And the last few years I've been focusing on the true root causes of cardiovascular disease and many other things in the medical sphere. So you may not be aware but cholesterol as a cause for heart disease is actually a very minor player and even the cholesterol problem is driven by other deeper root causes that cause the cholesterol to become bad. So myself and Dr. Jeff Gerber in our talk are going to be revealing some of that for you. Uh, we'll also be telling you what the true root causes are and how to avoid them occurring in your body. You may also not be aware that there is a test currently, a simple five minute scan, that can tell with great precision the degree of heart disease in your body but it's very seldom used compared to how much value it can offer. So we'll also reveal that test and how you can acquire it uh, to inform yourself. So the root causes of heart disease are many, but we're gonna go through the main ones and we're going to explain to you how you avoid those through nutritional and lifestyle approaches and also touch on some medications. But it will be very revealing and it might not be what you expect. So there's a lot of other great speakers in Low Carb USA, San Diego, who are covering similar and other topics around improving your health. My name is Dr. Jeff Gerber. I'm a family doctor from Denver, Colorado. As we like to say, food is medicine. When it comes to heart disease, one could argue that if cholesterol was not an issue, everyone would be on a low carb diet. But for decades, the main focus has been cholesterol. You go to your doctor's office, get a blood test that measures your cholesterol concentration, and then you're provided with advice aimed at lowering cholesterol. This simple approach, however, misses the mark. It fails to address proper diet and fails to recognize that heart disease or atherosclerosis is a complex metabolic disease. In our presentation, along with my chemical engineer colleague, Ivor Cummins, we will look at this dated approach that uses traditional cardiovascular risk assessment and show how these methods poorly predict risk. We will discuss metabolic disease, including hormonal dysregulation, and demonstrate what are the primary drivers of cardiovascular disease. We will look at modern day tools that predict cardiovascular risk to a degree of engineering precision. We will also address proper diet and lifestyle based on this knowledge. As the cost of healthcare and insurance are skyrocketing, finding better tools to accurately predict cardiovascular risk is crucial. Long term, money will be saved by finding those at risk early on and taking action. This, along with proper prevention, will benefit everyone. We're looking forward to seeing you at the conference in San Diego. So, what about the guys, same guys at the start who get a thousand, up to a thousand score? Same guys, no one knows the future. What about those guys, but they track them and they do increase by more than 15%. They're increasing above the 15% level. They've got stuff going on. The root causes are still there and working. In 3.5 years, not even six, that's what happened to them. Now, that's not even Russian roulette, because Russian roulette is one bullet, six chambers, it's a 16% chance risk. This is one cartridge in a double barrel shotgun, and you get to pull the trigger over three and a half years. 